welcome back to my channel in this video i'll be installing a wig from dorsini here inside the package i received some lashes an elastic band and two wig caps along with the wig that i'll be installing the wig that i received is a 13 by 4 180 percent density 28 inch wig As you guys can see, the wig is very full all the way to the ends. Even though it is 180% density, it's super full. I did have to bleach the knots and I plucked the hairline so that it can look more natural on my client's skin. Also, the wig is a full 13 by 4 frontal, so if you wanted to do something other than a middle part or a side part, it would be possible. This is what the wig looks like after it's been customized. The next clip will be showing you guys how it looks on my client's head. For this install, I wanted it to be a bust down middle part with a deep widow's peak. So I'll be showing you guys how to properly install this wig. So the first thing that I do is place a dotted line for where I'll be placing the glue down. Because the wig has a widow's peak, I did place a dotted line around it instead of making it in a straight line because all the extra lace will be getting cut off. After you've made the dotted line, you're going to clean the area off where you'll be placing the glue. As you guys can see, when I'm spreading the glue, I do spread it in the shape of the widow's peak because when I put the lace down, I don't want there to be extra glue under the lace that I won't be using. If there's extra glue placed on my client's hairline that I won't be using, I'll end up having to leave extra lace on. To prevent that, I make sure that the dotted line is visible so I keep the glue in the area of the line. After three thin layers of glue, now I'm going to place the lace into the glue. The first thing that I start with is the middle. I spread the widow's peak across my client's hairline so that it can lay flat and it doesn't have any rolls in it. Once the middle is down, I then move on to the two sides and place the lace into that glue. I always pull the sides of the lace towards the back of my client's ear so that the sides doesn't have any rolls in the lace. When the two sides are down, I have my clients hold both sides while I cut the middle of the lace off so that the wig can be secured. Now I'm just cutting off all the extra lace around the widow's peak. Being that I didn't have any extra glue on my client's hairline, it'll be a clean install without a sticky hairline. Now I'm just placing glue under the lace that I missed the first time when I was spreading the glue across my client's hairline. Mm -hmm. 
To make the widow's peak more visible, I'm using a tweezer to pull the widow's peak up before placing it down into the glue. Being that this is transparent lace, I wanted the lace to look as melted as possible, so I'm placing a thin layer of glue on top of the lace. I do the same thing for AC lace, but it isn't as necessary as for transparent. Now I'm just cutting off all the extra lace and placing glue that is needed on the rest of the hairline.
the makeup that I'm using for this install is cream foundation ruby kiss number 12 Now I'm going to spray my melting spray across my client's hairline and place an elastic band down so that the lace can have time to melt. As you guys can see, leaving the band on with the makeup and the melting spray, the lace is melted and it blends great with my client's skin tone. Whenever I cut the baby hairs, I always cut them from short to long so that it can appear to look more natural. Before styling the baby hairs, I use my pencil fly iron and curl the baby hairs upwards so that it'll be easier to swoop. Here's a better angle on how I cut the baby hairs. Now for the baby hairs, I'm using the Black Gatsby Gel and Cream of Nature Mousse. I use the Gatsby Gel mostly on the ends so that I can weigh the baby hairs down and keep them in place.
Now that the baby hairs are completely dried, I removed the wrap strips and now I'm going to apply some bio soap before hot combing the hairline. Before I hot comb, I always comb out the strands of hair so that when I do hot comb, it's molded and laid in place. Before outlining the part, I used the permanent marker to cover the oval bleached hairs. This is the results of the install. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Continue watching for more clips of the finished look.